Are you looking to enhance the driving experience of your new Mustang, but you're bummed out, you still can't get it tuned? Well, so are we. But the folks at Solar Performance have just released their 90 millimeter throttle bodies for the S650. Now they promise not only is it gonna give you better throttle response, but it's gonna help improve your driving experience. So let's bolt them on and check it out. First, start off by removing the PCV lines, then pull the red tab back to release the electrical connector on the throttle body. If you're using the factory intake, the clamps are seven millimeter, and for the Steeda intake, they are eight millimeter. Remove these four hose clamps. Once loosened on both ends, remove the intake tubes. There are four bolts on each throttle body that need to be removed. Once they are all out, the throttle body can be removed from the intake manifold. Grab the new throttle body and get it into place. Make sure the orientation matches the OEM piece. Each throttle body is positioned differently, so make sure they are installed in the correct manner. Use the included bolts and tighten them down evenly with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Now plug the electrical connector in and make sure the red tab is pushed in so it stays in place. Repeat the same process for the other side, starting with the electrical connector. Then the four bolts can be removed. And the throttle body can be removed. Get the new solar performance throttle body in. Again, position it the exact same way as stock and tighten down all four bolts. Plug the connector back in and be sure to slide in that red tab. Then reinstall the intake tubes. As you can see, our Steeda intake has enough room to be installed very easily. But if you're using the stock intake, it'll still be compatible. Make sure each end is sealed down properly and tighten each hose clamp down. Then you can reinstall the PCV lines. And go ahead and reinstall the passenger side intake. Tighten the hose clamps and reconnect the PCV line. Both PCV lines reinstall by pushing them onto the fittings. After that, your installation is complete. So as we know, one of the really cool things about the new S650 was Ford going to a dual intake setup. Dual air boxes, dual throttle bodies. One of the best things about the Coyote motor is not only does it scream and it's very rev happy, but it requires a lot of airflow to make power. So when the Ford went to the dual intake setup, it only made sense that they're trying to pump more air into the motor. Well. Here at Steeda, we've been trying to make a little bit more horsepower naturally aspirated. No turbos, no superchargers, no nitrous. So thankfully, the people at Solar Performance reached out to us recently because they just released their brand new 90 millimeter throttle bodies. Now, the factory ones, they come in at 80 millimeters. So you're looking at a 10 millimeter increase. Now. Why do you need all that extra airflow? You got two air boxes, you got two intakes. Well, the theory behind it is not only increasing airflow, but trying to help streamline the airflow. If you go to the solar performance technical page, you can geek out for 30 minutes of all the little things they did with these throttle bodies to help increase airflow and to make it smoother. Everybody knows, the less turbulence you have of that air coming into an engine, the more potential for horsepower because you're going to be able to increase the velocity. Speaking of that, it's a true velocity throttle body. It tapers down, they have really smooth radiuses. In fact, they run a number 16 micro inch finish, which is unbelievably smooth. But 
it should pair up really well with the Steeda Velocity cold air intake system, right? We're trying to speed up the incoming air to try to make more horsepower with this Gen 4 Coyote engine. So we've got them bolted on, super simple install. Now we're gonna go take it for a drive. One of the things you normally notice instantly with a larger throttle body is for every given movement with your gas pedal, you're gonna be getting more movement at the throttle body blade which means you're going to get a much better seat of the pants feel. Quarter throttle will actually be a little bit more than a quarter throttle. Half throttle is gonna be closer to three quarters. So your driving experience should be amplified. You should be able to get more enjoyment out of it. And then after we take it for a short ride, we're gonna strap this dark horse down and see if it made more power. Because let's face it, that's the premise behind all this, is trying to make more horsepower to the rear tire. So. Let's take it for a ride. All righty. So we've got the new solar performance throttle bodies installed on the dark horse. One of the cool things about solar performance is it's 100% well, made in the USA, just like our Steeda parts. And it's always great to support a vendor or a manufacturer, shall I say, that likes to manufacture right here in the United States. I mean, these are completely CNC. They're all billet construction. And uh, yeah, you can feel a little bit more tip in. Like I was explaining, any amount of throttle movement, you don't have to do as much because of the ratio in which they have them open. Now, the ground's a little wet out here today. We've had a ton of thunderstorms the last couple of days, so we can't really hammer on it, especially with the Trofeos, but we'll see. This car is so much fun. So the beauty about Solar Performance is not only do they make throttle bodies for the S650 now, but they make them for the S550. They make them for Corvettes and things like that. So multiple applications, it's really their bread and butter. It's what they're focused on, and they really make a high quality, very premium product. And like I said, you can go to that technical page on their website and just completely geek out over all the little details. Even on the back of the shaft, where you only have got the half of the shaft after the throttle body opens up, it's so cool. They've got little dimples all over it, similar to what you see on a golf ball. Everybody knows, golf balls have those dimples to allow them to travel further for a greater distance. Well, once again, it does that by reducing the turbulence around the golf ball, therefore providing less wind resistance. Same thing when it comes to this throttle body. That is exactly what they're trying to do. Maximize performance, maximize airflow, and at the end of the day, try to make some more horsepower. So as we said, installation is super simple. You're looking at four bolts per throttle body and one plug. And they are, they're 10 millimeters bigger than factory, but you got two. So that's 20 millimeters bigger than factory. Total combination is gonna come in at 180 millimeters. Now anybody that had a Cobra Jet set up with the single bore throttle body knows those were about 160 millimeters. So. This is really going to allow in absolutely the most possible airflow into this Gen 4 Coyote and make some more horsepower. But what's nice about these, bolt-on, no tune required, no check engine light. Now, it'd be great if they made some power, so that's why next we're gonna strap it down to the dyno. We know what the Dark Horse makes with the Steeda cold air intake, so We'll go ahead and strap it down to the throttle bodies and hopefully we make a little bit more power. That'd be nice, because if we do, I'll tell you what car those throttle bodies are going on next, and it's gonna be the Steeda Silver Bullet. So, stay tuned. So 
we just got done dyno testing the brand new solar performance throttle bodies on our otherwise bone stock dark horse. It does have our Steeda ProFlow cold air intakes, but stock exhaust system, so only the throttle bodies and the cold air intakes. Now, one of the things we noticed with the throttle bodies that, well, we've known forever, is that the driver input doesn't need to be as much for you to go the same speed or faster. What it's doing is it's changing the ramp, the rate at which that throttle body opens. Not only is it larger, but it's opening up quicker. It's gonna give you more of a seat in the pants feel. But does it actually make power? Let's go to the graph. So at the peak, we saw peak improvements of two horsepower and about three foot pounds of torque. But let's look down low. We were saying it opens up quicker. It's got a higher rate. Well, when you go down here to 2000 RPMs, 2500, you're looking at a difference of 10 foot pounds of torque, 308 versus 318, and a solid five horsepower, 146 versus 151. Now that's only at 2500 RPM. As you scale and go up the RPM range, you can see you're still making seven more foot pounds, four more horsepower. Even at 4,500 RPM, once again, you're looking at four horsepower, four foot pounds of torque. But all down low here, it is making a bunch more power. And that's the rate in which that throttle body is opening. As it's more aggressive, it's letting in more air. Even at the lower speeds, it's making power. Now up top, let's face it. You don't have camshafts, we don't have ported heads, we don't have E85, we don't have as much timing as we want, so it's gonna be marginal up top. But where you spend the majority of your time, it's actually making good horsepower, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take those throttle bodies off of the dark horse, throw them on the silver bullet, we're gonna go drag racing, see if we can get any improvements, but really cool product, 100%, CNC, billet construction made right here in the USA. Great job, Solar Performance. Looks like you got yourself a good product. So as you can see, super easy install. Took about 15 or 20 minutes to bolt both throttle bodies on, but it did exactly what we hoped it would do. It helped not only the throttle response because they changed the ramping, the rate at which the throttle body opens, but actually made good horsepower and torque down low. So that was a nice added surprise. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some more driving testing with the car. We gotta head down to Sebring here in a couple days, and then we're gonna pull them off, throw them on the Steeda Silver Bullet, take it back out to SGMP, and see if we can go any faster. So great product. You can find them at Steeda.com. Hit like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and remember the most important thing, Steeda where speed matters. Oh,